Welcome back to SOA Consulting Services tutorial series. This is Steve Bonacontri. Uh, today we're going to discuss a Node.js email service and I'll show you how to configure it and how to use Node Package Manager to install it, etc. Our goal, what we have here is we have a HTML5 Bootstrap Angular JS, Node.js, Mongo app, and I'm going to be discussing on how to submit the Contact Us form. In particular, I'll be talking about the Node.js email web service that we're using um, to post to. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is basically um, the packages you might need. So in your package.json file, what you might want to do is add a couple of uh, uh, node modules, which might be important. I use nconf, which, which is sort of like a configuration module. This might use Redis behind the scenes, but it stores name value pairs. And basically what it does is it allows you to put a configuration file on the file system, a config.json file, and it allows you to um, require the module and then use the nconf uh, module to read those values and use them as properties. And the properties I'll be using are the email settings, etc., which email service we're using, etc. Then I also used the node mailer uh, modules uh, to send a mail email uh, through the node application. So just to show you a little bit, um, uh, here's my um, config uh, JSON file. Basically, I do have uh, a pointer to some things I might need from the Node.js perspective, but I'll particularly focus on this email configuration object, which points to the cloud Amazon email service um, and um, the authentication uh, attribute. So this should go on your file system on the node server, uh, read only. And uh, basically what you do is you go on to Amazon, register for uh, a SES email service, um, and when you do that, you'll have to verify something and then they'll send you, uh, you'll get this username and password um, data, which you can incorporate into your config.json object so it can be read by your application. This is my Node.js application. Um, I do have it running already on the cloud, but let me show you. Uh, how 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 we use it? First, what we do is we require the appropriate uh, Node.js modules. We have we need the file system module because I read the nconfig file off of the file system. I also um, need to node mail or packages to send email appropriately. And I need this nconfig module so I can read my config.json properties. And of course I use the body parser because who doesn't use the body parser? Okay, so just to show show you the fir the first the first important line here is I read I read the the configuration file uh, uh, off, off of desk. And basically the way this works is you can set it up so it first reads command line arguments, then it reads environment to variables, uh, and if it doesn't find anything, it will read the config.json file. Then what I do is I make sure that the values in my configuration file are correct. Um, so I load them in to local variables, and then notice the syntax here, email colon host, my config file has the email host attribute, 
And then I log those values so I see them on the console. I do some assertions to make sure they're not empty or null. And I have this little snippet of code here. If I ever wanted to add anything or update anything, I could save it. Now notice, the node mailer module requires a transporter. So I create a transport object using my configuration values that come out of the property file. Notice this is the hard-coded version here. I labeled this hard-coded. It really looks like this. I create my express application. And then what I do is I'm ready to submit my contact us form. So I create an action, a post action within Node called contact us. The first thing I do is I post a contact us JSON object. So as you notice, this particular submit button in Angular uses the HTTP service and it will post a contact JSON object with all of these values in it. I gotta make sure that, first of all, I'm, my Angular app is pointing to my Node.js URL, and I am hitting on this particular web service, this contact us. And that's done with a simple URL, node.js service URL forward slash contact us. First thing I do, I retrieve the body of the request, which is my JSON object. I log it. Then what I do is I set up this mail options object. And I used a transporter, which I configured previously, to send the mail options. Here I'm sending from and to is the same thing I'm, I'm, I'm sending to myself here. I'm putting in a subject. And here I, I've stringified the contact us data. And now the transporter sends. I do a little bit of error handling. I even log, etc. Let's see what happens. I've successfully submitted the form. Let's go on to the cloud to see what happened. He noticed I originally fired up my Node.js application. Node.js looked at some of my URL parameters on the Node.js server and logged them just to make sure that certain things are there. And I've submitted the form a couple of times, um, but what you'll see is 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 the message is sent with the subject and the text now it turns out when i go to my email i will see this message there i left it in json format i i didn't finish this service really i'm going to persist it into mongo send myself an email um but also, if you go into the email and you click on, you know, view as HTML, you'll see this HTML snippet. So that's a simple web service which submits a contact us form. Um, 